Hey, I'm Curry. I'm Dustin, and he still uses the Easy Bake Oven. Oh, come on. Don't tell people that stuff. So we're now into 2015, and I thought we might go ahead and uh, recap 2014. Yeah, from the Ebelies. We went from zombies to Ebelies. Which is e Ebola. E but we're Ebola. Gonna, people run around with Ebelies. Do you shoot them in the head too? I don't know. I don't even know because at the moment it seems like the Ebola spreads by contact, and so I don't know. I mean, it's not like you gotta have your brains eaten to get. Ebola. So we go from Ebola, which would probably be the, the number one, the craziest one, which is your Facebook all over the place, the Ice Bucket Challenge, and the big thing with that, are they donating all the money to the organization for ALS, or was they taking some of that money? I don't know. All I know is it it, it went away as fast as it started. But it's like that. You would think that if they still wanted to raise money for ALS or for anything, it would still be going on, or a new trend would have started. Yeah, uh, these trends are ridiculous. Yeah, uh, they get they bounce in and out like, like now to five days down the road they're gone. But I mean they just happened. But he bolt back to Ebola for a second. Now wasn't it funny as as quick as it came like the swine flu, and then it was like magically gone. Yeah, we don't That's talk about Ebola Ebola anymore. We don't have any kind of discussions or fears like that. It, it it was immediately irrational fear. And then it was gone. That now nobody cares about Ebola anymore. Nobody cares that people still have Ebola in third world countries. I'm gonna go on a limb and be like conspiracy theorists. Like, what was the government covering up while we was looking at that? Uh, dun, dun, dun. Then after the ice bucket challenge, Mr. Robin Williams passed away. He, uh, great comedian, great actor. Uh, I think a lot of focus was put towards his. Um, Untimely um, death. Untimely death. The emotional uh, situation. I, I don't really understand. Um, I'm not emotional, so I don't really understand suicide, or uh, I really don't care. I, I you just have no emotions. I don't. I'm. Very, it's, it's something I'm working it on. Ju but. It just shows you how emotions can affect even the the funniest people of the world. The people that think that they go out there and make comedies and just laugh and have that, but as much as they hide their feelings and stuff like that so as far as I mean I, I deal with depression I deal with that side of it so I understand that more and trying to put the smile onto the crowd and trying to do the the joke to overcompensate the the hurt or whatever you want to put it as so yeah it's kind of weird I mean we had Robin Williams wasn't the only death I mean we had several actors and actresses die so why was it so much focus on him was it because he was such a great comedian and all of a sudden he just took his own life I think people got wrapped up in the depression and the suicide. Um, one of the strangest comments I heard was that how strong he was for committing suicide. Like that, I, I don't understand that. But let's get us past Robin Williams. Sir, I hope you're in a better place. I don't know where you are, so I can't assume or judge anything you've done. No, we don't want to go down that road either. Last year's Super Bowl, who won? I don't have a clue who was in it. Ain't even got nothing. Nothing. It's a, wait, what was your favorite commercial of it? No, I ain't got nothing. So apparently they didn't do their job. I guess a, a year ago. I can't remember the Super Bowl, and I can't remember anything about it. Who, nothing. Who did win? Hey, comment below who won, because yeah, I'd like to know now. We're, we're done. Uh, big topic, Michael Brown, Ferguson. Burn it down. Burn it down. Uh... Do you really want to hit this one? Because this could go both ways. Honestly, if you attack a police officer, you're going to get killed. That, or you're going to prison. So, rule of thumb, if the police officer is asking you to do something, regardless of your points of view or what your background is or what color your skin is, white, yellow, red, I don't really care. If a police officer asks you to do something once, do it then. Yeah. Don't. That's like these people videotaping when they get pulled over and trying to throw laws at cops. Seriously? I mean, yeah, there are laws to protect us that stop us from getting the DUI checkpoints and stuff like that. But if you're not hiding anything, 
why not just go with it? And, and, by, and there are bad cops. There are. There's bad cops. There's, uh, there's good cops. But overall, we've been having police in this country for 100 plus years. We've had, we've had police in our cities, in our towns, sheriffs, uh, deputies, whatever. We've had police forces in our environment for hundreds of years, and they've done a great job. So to to mess this all up by ha you know pointing out with all the video technology we got, pointing out a few bad apples, we need to move forward from that. So yeah. stop stop causing conflict by saying this cop's being a jerk or that cop's being a jerk. Roll your window down. Do what the cop asks you to do. Like I said, if you ain't got nothing to hide, move right forward. Yeah, get over it. Stop trying to defend your rights and your laws by being a douche. <laughs> That's that's about it. The World uh, Cup. I don't, have, that. I don't have a clue. It I, was in Brazil. What, it was in Brazil. They actually uh, transformed a very poverty-stricken area and spent like twenty billion or two hundred billion dollars to bring the World Cup to Brazil. So that was really a good thing for the country of Brazil. But I honestly, I know U.S. got close this year. Yeah, but I don't remember. I, I don't like soccer, so I don't. I don't have an opinion either way. A bunch of guys run around kicking balls. <laughs> Conflict in Gaza. Where's Gaza? Oh yeah, in Israel. So we. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. good. Where was? Oh yeah. Yeah, the Israel Palestine thing. It's amazing what on this list stands out to us and what doesn't. Like really. <laughs> who? I mean, who? These are the most talk, talked about topics, but who are they talked about too? I mean. Honestly, people don't want to know about what's going on in the world. I mean, if they did, they'd spend their whole day being depressed about what's going on in the world. That's why I don't watch the news. There's nothing good on it. I it's, turned it off. It's who kills who, who got robbed, and gas prices are outrageous. Right now, they're pretty good. Anyway, so the conflict in Gaza, the Palestinian-Israel uh, conflict, and it's still ongoing. It'll still be going on 100 years from now if the world lasts that long. I think Israel is going to be in a battle until what God comes back. Till God comes back, um, they're going to be throwing rocks and sticks at each other. U.S. midterm elections. What are we voting for? Well, it already happened. Yep. <laughs> this is a big one, and I'm really sorry you don't know this, but this was a big one. <laughs> the cool thing about this one is that the Republicans overtook both the House and the Senate for the first time in. 33 years or something. Uh, our, oh, I, do, I do know that. Our state, West Virginia, uh, went Republican for the first time in 83 years. Well, let's correct this. It's not our state. Yeah. I do live in Ohio State, hence the Jersey. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So, anyway, so Ohio and West Virginia, we got a river between us. <laughs> Whatever. So, West Virginia went Republican. Almost every single state has switched to Republican. It doesn't stand to, to reason why our incredible... Uh, yeah, let's think why it went Republican. Yeah, why did why? it go Republican? I wonder. Uh, anyway, Is so it seven years now? Seven years of nonsense. All right. <laughs> Malaysian Airlines. Uh, Is that the missing one? Yeah. That, that, just, that just happened, didn't it? No, there's another one. There's a new one. So we had a missing one. They found it, and there's bodies and everything. Malaysian Airlines. Is that two of them now that's missing from that one? Yep. So don't, don't fly Malaysia. Yes. You go Melissa. Yeah, Melissa. <laughs> All right, we'll just leave it missing. ISIS. Uh, we we had a fun year learning that we have a terrorist organization that replaced um, Taliban. The Taliban to talk about, and ISIS seems to be. Uh, the threat that every Republican has talked about there being reasons why we don't need to leave Iraq, Afghanistan, um, the Middle East in general. But well, well, we've got ISIS threats in America from American troops converting to this. Like that one guy that uh, what became whatever. He left the U.S. and became an ISIS and they found him and tried to get him to come back, didn't it? I can't remember the guy's name, but... Bird Dog? Yeah, that's it. Bird Dog. Bird Dog. Uh, I don't think he was ISIS, but it doesn't make any difference. Either way. Uh, but ISIS was the, the number 10 most talked about lit thing in the uh, in the United States. And so, when the Taliban hates you, you got to do something wrong. 
Like when Taliban steps back and goes, whoa, we wouldn't do that. <laughs> We've had an incredible year. We've had an incredible year uh, of what took place in, in the United States. And honestly, still, regardless of all this stuff, Ebola, uh, Robin Williams' death, the conflicts out in Missouri with the, the, the hate on cops and the hate on race and all this crap, it's still a good place to be. I'm, I'm pretty excited about being an American. I'm pretty, I'm pretty for it. I'm sitting here loving life in my house and sitting on my couch having a conversation with my bro. We still got freedoms to say what we want until we offend somebody, which I never understood that anyways. But we probably offend a lot of people right now. And If you're offended, just let us know. I mean, I, we'll, we'll talk about it. As a matter of fact, you tell us you're offended and we'll make another video talking about how you're offended. That's how we're going to do this. So if you're bothered, bring it up, and we'll make another video about it. So Which we did. We had somebody, we offended somebody already. We, did, we didn't the, talk the neck, about it. The neck tattoo. Oh, yeah. So, but yeah. We'll talk about that we'll later. We'll talk about that later. All right. So thanks a lot. We'll uh, talk to you soon. 2015 is going to be great. Right. Whoa, what? That's how I'm ending it.